and don't forget that when we get to the end we have to work in the stitch and then also work in the turning chain so it's this funny bit that's here so working a stitch into there and then chaining up and then we're just repeating this row until it's long enough so we should have something looking like this it's gonna have this straight line coming up there make sure these lines are straight if you put your last and first stitches in the proper place they should be fine so I've got quite a bit to go so my hood is big enough so this is what it's going to start to look like there's the sides of my scarf there with the hood part on the top and what I'm going to do now is join the top of the hood so we want to fold the hood in half and this is the top where I've just finished off there so we're going to fold this over and I've actually made my hood too small but that's fine I'm going to show you how we can add to it once we've sewn it up like this so I've got the bit where my yarn's touched at the back and then this part at the front so I don't want you to do a chain to chain up here so we've just done our last stitch now we want to work a half double crochet into this front piece into the first stitch working a half double crochet and then going to the back part we want to work a slip stitch in the next stitch and then in the next stitch at the front work a half double crochet and then going to our back piece we want to work a slip stitch into the next stitch half double crochet into the front and then working a slip stitch into the back half double crochet into the front and then slip stitch into the back into the next stitch and work this all the way across until we come to the end so once we come to the end here we just want to cut off our yarn Oops. don't pull the stitch out so grabbing our scissors And then we just want to put our ends through our loop and then pull to tighten up and then just sew in those ends. So as we can see, I have made my hood too small. This is my ear warmer. But I've made my hood too short, but that's fine. I'm going to show you how to fix it up. So what we were supposed to do is when I said to measure on the sides here where you were going to put your stitches we should have gone all the way to our chin that would have given us a bit of bit to play with because this has actually shrunk because I had mine up to here so I've lost about an inch so it should come up to there and mark those stitches but not to worry now I can show you how to fix it up if it turns out like this so now what I need to do I need to make my hood wider so I'm going to join the yarn in here then I'm going to crochet around the edge of the hood across down there and then I'm going to join it back in down in there I'm going to slip stitch to join and then I'm going to go back around like that so I'll show you how I'm going to do it now I'm posting this video with this mistake in it so that I can show you how to fix it up not all is lost we're not all perfect see we get some things wrong so what we want to do this is where we the, the the um, yarns join into our scarf. We want to go into the next stitch, and we are just going to put our yarn over a hook and join that into there. Do a chain, and that just secures that down into there. And we're going to work. This is the hood part here. We're going to work. Um, what am I? I'm going to do half double crochets again 
because I used half double crochets on my scarf. We're just going to work along the side of the hood. And I'm going to work over my yarns here so I don't have to sew them in later. When you work along the side, there's not really any stitches to go into, as clear as it is when we normally do our work. So we're just going to go along and find stitches. So going into there. You don't want to go in there because that's going to make it a big hole. And it's going to look funny. So we're just going basically into the chains on the end of our rows. So we just want to do this all the way around the opening of our hood and I'll meet you up when we get back to the other side where our scarf is. So I'm up to, this is the last stitches on my hood and this is my scarf here and I'm just going to work half double crochet down into the scarf and I'm actually going to go through both loops to make it nice and firm. pulling through all loops then we just want to slip stitch down into the next stitch turning out or doing our chain two sorry and then turning our work and now we're going to work back across our work and I'm going to work into both loops just for a different little border on my my um, hood where I've had to extend it but that's fine I think it's still going to look pretty cool so I just work all the way across till we get to the other end the last couple of stitches this is my hood to there and then there's my scarf so I'm going to go into that last stitch on the hood and then I'm going to slip stitch down into the scarf then I'm going to chain two and spin my work. Sorry guys, this is getting a bit bulky. I've only got such a tiny little screen to fit it in. So now we're going to half double crochet or whichever stitch you have chosen back towards the other end of the hood. And we basically repeat this row until the hood is the correct size. So I'll see you when I finish my hood. So when I put my scooty on, it's a little bit baggy around here. Yeah, you know, if you don't mind how it's baggy, you can just leave that. But um, I want that to be a little bit more snug. So what I'm going to do is get a smaller hook size. So I've got a K or a 6.5. I'm going to use sorry a what is it here a H which is a five millimeter so that's gonna make these stitches a bit tighter so hopefully that will bring that in a bit and we'll see how we go and as you haven't probably haven't guessed already if you haven't guessed already I'm making up this padding as I go along so there you go all right talk to you soon on the last row don't make the chain two because that's gonna make that stick out so just I've done my slip stitch on my previous row turn my work and then I'm just going to make a half double crochet into the next stitch. Otherwise this is going to stick out and look a bit funny. Okay, so here's my finished product. That's taken care of some of the bagginess around the outside. So now all I've got to do is um, cut off my yarn and sew my ends. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and leave a comment and don't forget video responses and photos love 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 those love to see what you guys have made until next time have a fantastic day and happy crochet